art may conjure up an image of paint on paper or abstract images at a museum. But for the artists channeling their creativity across the Treasure State, the word art means a lot of things. Q2's Asia Gore met with Broadview artist Tracy Linder, who brings her work in the field into the studio. Growing up in the American West, in a rural community, on a family farm, you have a real true sense of connection to the land. I watch the circle of life play out before me day to day. Tracy Linder wakes up early to combine the fields here in Broadview. It's not a glamorous day of work, but it is a source of income, and maybe more importantly, inspiration. My work really centers around my connection to the land looking at agriculture as we've gone from family farming into more corporatized farming. Linder is an artist. As she works in the field, she captures mental snapshots, amber grain, the earth as it breathes, horses chattering on the sidelines. And she brings it all here. Typically, each body of work takes one to two years of development because I do that much experimentation to decide the format of that piece, what the materials will be. She spends hours outside the studio researching her subject. Part of it's really painful. Part of it is really confused. It's um, the not knowing where you're going, but it's also in that moment that you sort of thrive. Linder says within her process, she becomes vulnerable yet full of vigor, just like her muse, the calf. You know, within 15 to 45 minutes of birth, they got to stand up and get that milk from their mother. So, you know, it's just that so much is going on in that moment. Linder strives to dissect the complex moments in nature and create discussion. Such a large part of our culture is so disconnected from our food supply that they don't truly have a sense of that animal's life. Hopefully what I present to people is an opportunity for dialogue, even if it's just internal. As she wraps these handcrafted birds in leaves, Linder considers the delicacy of the leaf and the bird's role in nature. But she knows others may see something else, and that's the point. When you come to that work and there's leaves involved in it, you have an association with it that I can't predict but it allows an opportunity for us to connect on a new level. For Linder, art is not what you hang on the wall, but what evokes a feeling, a response. And even when the work of art is complete, Linder knows the conversation has just begun. In Broadview, I'm Asia Gore, MTN News. And Asia tells us Linder's work has been featured at art museums across the country and locally at the Yellowstone Art Museum.